Tato Cat, and welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Asterism. Um, previously, the fox found out Miss Pricey Pants uh, Ayane is also an aligner and has now she's going to be in her motley crew. And he's being all weird and emo during our little date at the abandoned amusement park. Now we're at a pizza restaurant and we are falling asleep. That's pretty much what we left out. Alright, let's get to you. Really falling asleep in a restaurant? Mmm, Volpe got cold last night so she started dragging my pillows and blankets off my bed until she made a fork. Even when she was asleep, she growled at me when I tried to get near to get my stuff back. Kick her out. Cold, as usual. No way, maybe. <sighs> Where would ball picks go if we kicked them? We can't just kick ball picks out. No way. What? No way. Where else would she go? She's a freeloader right now. You don't owe her anything. Yeah, but she's tiny. You saw all those specters attacking her. She can't fend for herself. I'll probably just get some more blankets out of Rico's room for her. Rico? My older sister. She's away at some prestigious college or something on a scholarship right now. Maybe you can just kick Volpe over to that room. Or something? I haven't seen her in a, over a year or two. She doesn't care to stop by, so I shouldn't care if a stray fox uses her sheets, right? By the way, it's not worth losing any more sleep over. I know, I know. I'm gonna call in early. See you guys tomorrow. I grab a few fries and shove the plate over at Opie, who's giving me a slightly concerned look. Is that all I need to do to get him concerned? Look a bit tired? Bye. Night. Yeah, finally the weekend. Huh? Ayane pissed off the wrong guys, and they look her way while we were talking this morning. Meet me at the cave near the park. Volpe. What the hell did I just read? Is this the place? Yep. So, you mean that some crews from school took Ayane? To a cave this deep in the forest while she was talking with Volpe this morning and Volpe decided to tell you via scrawled note left on your bed. It's actually not that bad of a handwriting. I just find it hard to believe that she can write. How does that work? Does she grab a pen with both claws or have a really good grip with one paw? Can she write with her mouth? I love how Opie is the most logical person because <laughs> I was just thinking how does Volpe write maybe oh maybe she uh can use her tail my box is ambidextrous can she write with either paw she doesn't even have thumbs though how about you ask this after Ayane is in trouble and besides why are we here Weren't you the one who called us here in the first place? I should have called the police instead. Come on, she needs our help. But why our help? Get to moving. All I'm saying is that some cops will look a lot more intimidating than us. Oh, go left, go right, go forward. I have no, I had no idea about this cave whatsoever. It's a nice cavey cave. It does its job. This rock looks awfully smooth. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, edge a tiger by a toe. Eeny, miny, mo. All right, we'll go right. We go right, and of course we are ambushed by specters. Really, I'm not that surprised anymore. Levi barely has time to get his polar arm before I shoot the specter's way. All those rocks are starting to look the same. 
let's try not to forget where the entrance is. That'll be hard when I keep getting turned around while shooting. Let's keep going. Huh? Did you hear something? Ayane! Ayane! Are you alright? I'm fine. I was wondering the same about you three. Let's get rid of the specters first and talk later. And it has some sort of police baton? Nunchuck? Seeing it as a weapon, it looked very blunt, but it was a brutal sound. I tried to keep focus and shoot, but it's hard not to be distracted. Is she fighting in heels? Opie steps in to slice one away that gets too close. I take another down with a final shot. I want to see them! I want to see the specters! How did you find your way out? What do you mean? I got a note this morning saying that you three got lost in this cave. And of course couldn't defeat the specters in here in order to escape without my aid. Wait, so you weren't kidnapped? Of course. Alright, Volpe, where's your hidden camera? <laughs> you kept insisting I teach you, so I figured you might learn better by training. It's not training if we already know it. A key part to being a liner is working well in groups, so good luck finding your way out. What? Those specters you just fought have hallucinogenic properties. Have fun getting lost. See you soon! Maybe. So, uh... What exactly does that mean? It means, well, pay all, let us hear. So we have to find our way out because we're like, Train us! Are you finally gonna teach us something? And then she was like, Oh, I know a great cave with hallucinogenic specter things. That's a great place to send them all to learn teamwork. It means the specters had mind-altering abilities. Just being near them will warp your perspective for at least half an hour. There won't be any long-lasting effects if we get out of here soon. Thank you, Opie. This is just great. Start moving before the specters come back. Go left, go right, go forward. Well, since we went since we went right, let's just go left. That should put us back to where we began. How about over here? It's wall off. I can feel slight breeze through a cave in, it seems. It's not going to cave in soon, is it? Let's get out before it can. Well, we can't go right, can't go left. Let's just go forward. Well, going forward is worth a shot. Is it? Sure. Why does a simple question make you so nervous? I, um... To be honest, her stare makes me think she knows everything I've ever done wrong with my entire life. We'll go this way. Let's go then. So, I just have to be more confident. Got it. Well, we're red. So we're the team leader. We're going forward. Oh. Apparently, we can't. Oh, never mind. So, go for Well, going for it's worth a shot. Is it? Sure. Why does a simple question make you so nervous? Yep, you read that. I, um. Yeah, yeah. We'll go this way. Let's go then. So, I just have to make you cry. Does this cave ever end? It won't if you don't keep moving forward. Hey. How'd you get stuck in all this? I already told you. She told me to come here. No, I mean all of this. My grandfather taught me. He showed me how to fend for myself and others. He tried teaching my mother to fight, but she can't see specters. She just ended up fighting thin air. Now come on, put some pep in you to your step. We keep walking through the cave until Opie points at something on the floor. What's this? 
looks like a weapon. Yeah, I kind of meant something less obvious, like, what is it doing here? If you don't want the obvious answer, don't ask obvious questions. Pick it up. We never know when we might need it. Hey, is this... Yay, we did it! I don't know what I did. I have a feeling that I, uh, eventually I would have found my way out no matter what I did. Sunlight! I thought we'd never make it out. See? I believed in you the whole time. You said maybe when you left, so I don't think that's true, Volpe. Now we can celebrate you all becoming a team. You can celebrate by sleeping outside tonight. How cold! I was finding a new train. Just as cold as the ground you'll have as a pillow. If you wanted to give us training, then why lie? How else would I get you super motivated to work on the weekend? Oh, we found another constellation. Yeah, it was just lying in the cave. Shouldn't it belong to someone? Of course it should. It most likely used to belong to a fallen aligner. Wait, really? No, it probably just appeared there. Dungeons? There are great places for aligners to train. But there are also places where constellations usually form. It definitely felt like a dungeon. There's something about the Mount Spectres that draw them towards these areas. We don't know what the real correlation is or how they're created though. I was once working on this project data mining locations where constellations appeared versus in known hotspots for spectres. Oh yeah! We all have weapons, but the special thing about constellations is that they can empower each other. Here, give me your revolvers. Oh, right, how is this going to work out? Let's see. Put a piece there, take this off, put this here. Does this go back in this place or. Don't break them. You should have more faith in me. I'm a lot more capable than I look. That's not saying much. Right now, all I see is you hitting it with your paws. Ta da! Here you go. Hey. Whoa, that packs a bigger punch. See? I know what I'm doing. Just bring me more constellations you find to me, and I'll fix you right up. Anyway, training over. Go get some rest. Art, you really gonna kick her out? Probably not. She shouldn't scare people like that, though. I guess it's what some people would call intense training. Aside from that first night, I've yet to see her fight, and she let us do most of the work then. She might know how to defeat them, but she clearly can't defeat Spectres adequately on her own. Cough, cough, cough. This is what he says. You okay? I'm... <laughs> is Ophi going to die? Ophi's, I feel like Ophi's either going to die or turn evil. I just feel it. I'm going to get some sleep. Night. See you later. Is he alright? Yeah, he just usually overworks himself while fighting. He's really sickly, but doesn't exactly hold back while fighting, even when he should. He'll be fine. Tomorrow morning, you won't notice a thing. Alright. My house is down this way. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Are we gonna get yelled at again? Where's Volpe? She's standing in front of Rico's room, pitifully jumping up, trying to twist the knob with her paws. Uh oh, you're home early? Are you trying to get in the room? I was just wondering why it was locked. Huh? It's not locked. It just gets stuck sometimes since we don't open it up a lot now that my sister's out of town. What? I've been trying to open that for days. It's probably not easy to open with paws. I guess she'll stay in Rico's room for now. Is Volpe our sister? Hmm? We've distributed almost all of his property, save for this box. Who does it belong to now? According to the last part of his will, it now belongs to... Kotachi Astrio is your son here. Kotachi, come over here. 
Here you go. Your grandfather left you this in your possession. What's inside it? Nothing. He belonged to your grandfather's father before him, and his father before that, and so on. It's more of a tradition now to pass it on. Eh. Maybe it used to be of worth, but now I guess it's a nice decoration. For now, we'll just leave it on the living room mantle. How about that? But why can't he see the guns inside? Kotachi, wake up! Ugh. Did you say Opie and Levi are coming over? Yeah. Well? When will they come? Will they come here before I finish breakfast? Do I need to cook them lunch? They won't be here for another hour, don't worry. Then set the table for the three of us. Alright. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Mmm. Is that pancakes I smell? You slept in pretty late. How else am I going to get my beauty sleep? It's what keeps my tail silky, of course. I thought you said your tail was naturally soft because you're a girl fox? Don't question my verified fox facts. So, you and Ophie made a friend. I mean, he's more my friend than Ophie's. What are Levi's parents like? Don't know. I haven't met them yet. Maybe he doesn't have deadbeat parents like Opie. What a dick thing to say. I talked to Rico last night before you got home. Way to change the subject bomb. She's doing well in her classes and making some friends. She won't be able to come this break either though. What's new about that? She's focusing on her studies even more. And how are your grades looking, Kotachi? Alright. You should be making honor roll like Rico every month. I'd like to see that happen. I'm gonna get ready before I come over. Make sure your room is tidy. Our dad's kind of a dick. Kotachi, your friends are here. Your hair's a mess. Our hair looks the same as it always does. Yeah, good morning to you too. There's some pancakes left on the table, but if either of you want some... Munch, munch, munch. We'll pay. At least, now you'll want lunch. Do you think you could get some kind of illness from eating from the same plate as an animal? Alright, I won't have rabies. There's your answer, whatever that means. I don't have rabies, I assume. Last night I was watching this documentary and ghost stories around town. You like that kind of stuff? Yeah, it's pretty good when it's 3am and the only other option is shopping channels. I think Opie would rather watch the shopping channel. Huh? What, you don't like scary stuff? I, I like scary movies. Just not ghosts. Just not ghosts. Just not ghosts. Hey, what do you say we go by the graveyard tonight for specter hunting? A graveyard, huh? Which one? The St. Bell graveyard near the old elementary school. I bet it's crawling with them. I bet it's crawling with other things too. Yeah, definitely. The documentary while on how it was a battleground during the Civil War and was an old torn down asylum and the Native Amer- Alright, alright. They say past midnight there's this woman in white who walks from inn to inn asking passerby if they've seen her baby. And when they say no, she attacks them. Wait, how can a ghost attack someone? Shh. Oh, right. Scary. You guys are terrible at this. Don't worry about a thing. You have the two of us. It's just some ground with stones sticking up at different places. Who said I'm scared of some dirt? Great. Then it's settled. We'll go to the graveyard tonight and hunt specters. So you're going to? Of course. I've got to observe my princesses. And you're going to help fight? Fight? Me? Why? Those who can't do teach? Question mark? I'm not the one that needs training, mind you. I've been fighting specters a long time before you came around. 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then why aren't you a certified aligner yet? Certified? Anyone who fights specters can call themselves an aligner. But only certified aligners are recognized by coin. Hey, it's not nice to leave people in the dark. Of course, they don't accept just anybody. It takes skill to be certified aligner like me. Are you going to wait till we specifically ask you to tell us what coin is? Why? I'm glad you asked. Coin is only the biggest authority on specters in the Northeast. It's home to thousands of certified aligners ranging from people who go out and kill specters on missions, people who research specters, and even people who research constellations. Research constellations? Interesting. Researching constellations is some rather in-depth stuff. Definitely not for the faint of heart. Maybe, if you're lucky enough, they'll let you through the door someday. So what's the difference between a certified aligner and a regular aligner? Certified aligners go through rigorous training to earn a certification that they can efficiently and effectively hunt down specters. What kind of training? So they get a fancy paper. What kind of training? What kind of rigorous training? It's gotta be more than what you're doing. I'm giving you the best training my pals can offer, while being clocked in, of course. I don't get paid leave. And that's what you're training us for, this certification? Well, I'd like you all to eventually become certified aligners, but I doubt it'll happen if you're too afraid of the specters that might be in the little old cemetery. What do you mean? We're going. You sure? Of course. Don't you want to become a certified aligner? I mean, I kind of just found out about it, but it sounds cool. Okay then, tonight it is. Hey, what's your mom making for lunch? Yeah, go ask her. You just ate four pancakes. I'm a growing fox. I need to save up for hibernation. Foxes don't hibernate. And you live in my house. I saw her getting out chicken from the refrigerator. Do you think she'll make baked chicken or chicken and dumplings or chicken spaghetti? I'm going to go watch. I feel like her only goals in life are to steal my food and tell me fake fox facts. Pull up a map of St. Bell so we can start planning tonight. Here it is. It's kind of big for a graveyard downtown. We should split up so we can cover more ground. That way we'll be able to beat more specters. Because that works out in Scooby-Doo. We can't do that. We're supposed to work together with constellations to hunt specters, not by themselves. Calm down. We won't split up. Maybe. Besides, you'll be fine. You can hold your own. The faster we get rid of specters there, the faster we can leave, right? This will be the quickest way, so you won't have to stay in there long. Nope. I'm not going if we split up. Fine, we'll do it the long way. Better. Looks like the closest entrance is on the south side of... <laughs> Look at all these gravestones. It's all gravy. And stuff. It's a lot colder than I thought it'd be. I can't wait to be home in a nice warm bed. Wasn't this your idea in the first place? And weren't you the one who didn't want to come in the first place? Come on, let's get this over with. We walk around for a while, trying not to make too much noise. There's nobody out here that I can see, but we don't want to get the police called on us for loitering. What was that? I assume it's Ayane. I'm not that easily spooked. No, I heard something behind us. Heck. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. You're an idiot. What are you doing here? Stalking us, it looks like. The fox asked me to come by, and I was done with work for the night. Of course she did. I guess she wants us all to train together. Precisely. This graveyard has a lot of winding paths and a lot of graveyards down here with haphazardly add new sections as the years go on. Don't be surprised if you get turned around or lost. So it's like the cave, all over again. Wonderful. There shouldn't be any specters with mind-altering effects here, so no. It's just you might have to work individually in order to work together. Of course, I can't help you if your own minds play tricks on you. Bye now. Great. 
she says some cryptic bullshit, and then leaves. I'm noticing a trend here. You can sit here all night, but I'm going to get rid of some specters and then leave. Agree. Well, time to start searching. There weren't any specters towards the front, but as we walk further in, I keep seeing shadows out of the corner of my eye. Ayana spots one and heads off towards it, killing it before we even reach her. I think I see what she was talking about, about different sections. Bye. We'll have to work individually to work together. It was a long way of saying we'll have to split up. She wants us to do a thorough scan of the cemetery, which I guess includes not leaving through the front door. Sounds like a cheeky way of seeing how we work individually. I noticed you, Opie, she's kind of scooting over there. Well, if any of us do find the north exit, then text the rest of us. Sounds like a plan. Here's my number. You got that, Opie? Opie? I'm not going. Opie, look. I'm not going. I'll go back to the front and look like an ass. But I'm not going alone. If that's how you feel, then fine. Is he alright? That's his problem. Come on, let's get rid of the specters and get out of here. Ayana and Levi walk off in separate directions. I guess it's time for me to head off too. The tombstones in this area are older than the ones near the entrance we came in. Some go back to the early 1800s. I shoot away a couple of specters looking around in a taller gravestone. The rest scatter. Eventually the pavement rounds off to a dead end. Guessing this wasn't the way to the north entrance. Oh, it's another constellation. And a key. Did someone drop this? It's kind of weird looking though. It looks more like a toy key than an actual key. I'll throw it away once I get home. Don't do that. It's probably super important. I should go back and help Ayane and Levi, but maybe I should check on Opie. I'll call him. Hello? Opie? Okay, we'll end this episode here. We'll see if Ophi is okay and what the key means. Maybe in the next episode. Hey, I'm Tiaka. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon.